Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, welcome to a get ready with me slash spend the weekend with me slash I don't even know, we just gonna go with the vibes, okay? So today we are getting ready to go to my friend's, I almost forgot for a second. So I'm getting ready to go celebrate my girl's birthday with her at brunch and I need to pick a fragrance. I don't know which one to wear but I have some options so I'm gonna show y'all. Shout out to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. So y'all know me, I love fragrances, I love buying fragrances but fragrances can be expensive. So Scentbird has given you the option to try out different fragrances that you may love before you purchase the big bottle. Because let me tell y'all, fragrances can run from like 200, 300 sometimes even 500 if you get up there on the scale they can get pricey if you don't know what Scentbird is i got you they're pretty much a subscription based service for fragrances and you get a few fragrances sent to you every month and you get to test them out see how they wear on your skin see how you like to mix them with your other fragrances too just try out different combos see which ones you like see which ones you don't like and if you find one you really like then you can commit to the full size bottle so i kind of have an idea which one i want to wear today because i took a peek at you know the note cards that they give you which have the picture of the full size bottle so you know what you're looking for when you go to search and then on the back is all of the info on them so the ones that i got are christian siriano all natural and that's the one that i think i'm gonna go for this one has notes of mandarin peach nectar water lily coconut blossom and skin musk don't that just sound like something i would love yes it does and i'm I'm leaning more towards that one, but let's let's go through the other ones. Next up, we have Skylar Vanilla Sky, and the notes on this are Cappuccino, Pure Vanilla, and Caramelized Cedar. And then I also have the Initio Oud for Greatness, and the notes are Agarwood Oil, Lavender, Saffron, Patchouli, and Musk. So this one is very earthy, very musky, very, very unisex i would say it's a very unisex fragrance i could say that they come in these bottles that you can just pop in your purse and the fragrance is actually inside so these are just covers for them which i love because one you can just think which one is which but also it's cute i love how they care about the product and the aesthetic so you just pop it open like this and you can switch out the fragrances so say that your outfit is this color and you want to put your favorite fragrance in there you just pop it out pop the new one in there and close it up pop in your purse and be on the go this one is the christian siriano so let's go ahead and pop her on mm, this smells amazing it smells like aquatic vanilla woody warm like this is it this is really good for one fall time but a nice fall vacation that's what it smells like a fall vacation oh my gosh i love this so much oh my god i need like 80 more of these i've actually worn all of these so far and my favorite definitely is the christian seriano but the vanilla sky is probably like my close second because i can't really decide who's second between oud for greatness and vanilla sky mainly because oud for greatness is a good base scent for me it's a nice masculine scent and i feel like adding something sweet on top of it will really give it that like nice seductive capturing vibe to it definitely go to scent bird and use my code i got a code for y'all of course use code kayla 55 for 55 percent off your first month of scent bird trust me you won't regret it if you have tried scent bird down below let me know how you feel again thank you to scent bird for sponsoring this part of the video i've heard about them i've seen them around so i'm actually really excited i got a chance to try them out because i really like the concept and y'all know i'm popping this right in my purse so i can go ahead and spray it fresh before i walk in so let's go ahead and hop into the get ready for me portion i'm already right now but i want to show y'all how it all came about so let's get into it okay y'all let's do this hair so first i just washed it because i knew i wanted to do like some type of slick back bun but i just wasn't sure how i wanted to spice it up or however so at first i tried like the two pieces out mm, wasn't really feeling it because i didn't want to put any heat on my two pieces i also tried to braid them and it just wasn't given i saw that hairstyle on instagram and thought i would try it didn't like it so i was like you know what we're just going to slick it all back and not worry about doing too much right now so once i try to put it in a bun y'all i attempted this bun so many times so many times this is like my third attempt i was getting so frustrated i was over it at this point but we finally just took our time put it in a bun got it all together did the baby hairs all of that and yeah we finally got it 
together such a simple hairstyle like I said I be wanting to like do little special stuff but then if it don't work out then I'll be mad and frustrated and I'm like you know what we're just gonna put it in a regular bun whatever <laughs> so now I'm just gonna do my makeup my normal makeup routine I'm doing my um, milk hydro grip NARS light reflecting foundation my Too Faced concealer Laura Mercier powder I'll I'll do like a TikTok or something just explaining all the products that I use um and also i do want to show you guys my vib pickup so make sure y'all stay tuned for that because i did re-up on some stuff and i did purchase some new stuff too so yeah i'm gonna be trying out some new makeup in the upcoming days so yeah time to get dressed i'm kind of excited for my outfit i have like 10 minutes so we about to run up out of here <laughs> let me open it up i got some pants from house of cb i'm like really praying that these fit because i got them in a size large and i got them in the long version so they look like this they're so cute y'all little um like crosses on the side well not crosses lace up lace up right here in the middle and they are supposed to be like kind of low-waisted so that's why i'm a little nervous i'm gonna wear this shirt from revolve this is by the brand soroya i love this brand they have such cute stuff this is how it's spelled and it's a regular shirt right here but as you can see the back is out okay so it's gonna get real 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 up in here like i said their stuff usually i always have to I can size down in but I'm glad I got a large because they're really comfortable they're not too tight you know leather stuff is sometimes stiff so yeah these are nice and comfortable so for my top I'm trying to figure out what the weather what time is it oh y'all got six minutes okay um it is 58 degrees outside so I'm like what do I do? Should I wear, I think I have an idea. I could wear my little Skims like bodysuit because it's it's not really my skin tone y'all, but it's close. So I'm like, this could be a vibe. Or I could just say F it, maybe throw a coat over and then just go from there. Or I could really say F it and just not wear no coat and just freeze for the sake of the look. Okay y'all, my only dilemma is the shapewear ends literally right here. So I'm like, I make any slight movement, it's gonna be sticking out. If my pants fall down the slightest, it's gonna be sticking out. Like this black thing is my underwear and I had to even push my underwear down. But the shapewear can't really push it down because that's where my hip is. So it's gonna roll up either way. Like, wow, I really wanted to wear this. I did get this from Zara, which is really cute. It's like a black and kind of sparkly situation but i feel like this just gives nighttime it gives dinner time right and it's very wrinkled <laughs> lord and then i also got the matching top too i got these in an extra large just so it could be you know extra roomy and flowy and then i got the shirt in a large of course to be oversized so this is with the shirt it's like a button down so i could wear this But I wouldn't want to wear my hair like this though for this outfit. That's the only thing. Okay, option number two is this like black mohair sweater. If you can kind of see the texture. And then black leggings, black pointed toe heels, and a black bag and a red lip. I feel like that would be very, very cute. So let's try her on. I could wear these. These little like caged sandals that I wore this year i think it was in february or something like that these are really comfortable too they're from nasty gal they're dusty because i don't wear them like that but they're from nasty gal these would add like a cute little contrast so i think i may do these the red lip i'm gonna be wearing is from armani so i need a mirror to do this for real i'm not that gangsta hold on How do we feel? How do we feel about the red lip? I like it, but it gives me like, I don't know, it's a little too gothy for me. <laughs> okay, I got another option. So, 
I went to Zara and I got this top. Oh, let's try it on y'all. Oh my gosh, this is too much. I kind of actually like really, really like it. So yeah. And then honestly, I might just wear like my regular black bag. I don't even have time to change my bag out. All right, let me put my other shoe on and then let's go because I'm gonna get there like right on the dag one dot if not a little bit later because i still have to find parking y'all i'm stressed out i am stressed why is my life so chaotic i don't understand i don't understand it's happening to me every single time and guess what couldn't find my keys couldn't find my keys so that put me back even more y'all Why do I throw the tag on the shirt? Why did I just throw it on like that and then take the tag off? Oof. Oof. There we go. <sighs> I did not know this was $90. Like, oh my God, girl. Like, I'm kind of glad I switched to this outfit because that sweater would have been way too hot. <sighs> this is a cute place to take pictures right here i don't know what this is look at this you can like stand right there next to the little stuff very cute okay this is how i'll be finding places to take pictures what is this called the brook the brook what is it called the brooklyn institute okay we're here i'm about to do ballet i'm just waiting on a guy and then we can just run up in there but yeah whew, we made it y'all what you looking at Y'all, guess what else happened? Okay. <laughs> Woo! I cannot. I cannot. Y'all, today is a whole joke. Like, it's a joke. Guess what? In order to do valet, you have to have your spare key. Long story short, I left my extra car key at home. Y'all know we gotta get the flicks. Oh, she brought out the fur. Hold on. She brought the fur. <laughs> the fur. <laughs> that restaurant was so loud. It was too loud. Like literally the DJ was like right here on our heads, like bouncing the speaker off of our ears, y'all. It was so freaking loud. How loud was it, Danny? Too damn loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh like when i came here last time it was not like that like it was very quiet very chill very nice but i guess maybe because it's brunch like they want to turn it up but they didn't need to do that like it was already a very like peaceful place to be i don't know but the food was cool um it was very like well what i got was very like light and refreshing type stuff but um, we're about to take some pictures okay let me go like real quick once i hit a stoplight because they got me messed up like if today couldn't get any funnier like slash worse <laughs> look at this little cup y'all this little tiny green juice like this is a shot okay this is basically a shot of green juice i was like oh no they didn't for eight dollars Eight dollars, y'all. 
Like for eight dollars, I'm thinking, oh, it's a big old cup. And I can't believe I just caught all of this on camera, y'all. Like how chaotic my life really is. Just to show y'all the people that be like, you're the queen of soft life. Today was hard. <laughs> <laughs> nothing soft about it like nothing soft about it at all but like i will say you know my life is pretty like chill it's very simple but y'all today oh my god like what is going on what is going on <sighs> it's the next day <laughs> yesterday ended very 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 chaotically as well you see i didn't even go to the movies that's what i'm getting ready to do now about to go to the movies because i didn't go yesterday why because i missed the freaking movie today i was like you know what we have a very soft day because we deserve it. So I'm gonna catch a little matinee. I'm gonna go get some food. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do like a little bit of makeup. And I'm hungry, so I'm like, you know what? I can go get food, then go to the movies, but I'm in the mood for some ramen, so I'm gonna go to Genia. I'm just wearing this Skims, um, what line is it? Soft Smoothing, right? I'm pretty sure it's Soft Smoothing T-shirt. I have on my Aritzia leggings. And then I'm just gonna wear my ooh, Prada boots. So I kind of want to wear one of my scent bursts scents again, just to wear it. So yesterday I wore the um, Christian Siriano All Natural, and today I kind of want to wear my what is it called Oud for Greatness. Just spray some on my wrist. Mm. Ooh, yes. Okay. I kind of want to mix. Um, the vanilla sky in there though. I feel like that would smell good. Hold on, let's see. I just put on this gray jacket that I got from Zara. Y'all seen it before in my um, Instagram post, my TikTok, my YouTube video. <laughs> I put it pretty much everywhere. about to be sick of me because i didn't even go to the movies <laughs> after i ate that genya y'all oh my gosh i was like i need to lay down because you know genya is like it's ramen so it's nice and warm it's kind of like soup it just warms you up i was like this is a good time to take a nap because i felt like if i would have went to the movies i would have been asleep like genya really puts you to sleep because it's just it's like the perfect cozy food to me. But anyway, I was like, I'm gonna come home and I'll just like watch a movie here and just chill and get real comfortable in the living room. Um, and I also had a couple things to do too. So I was like, let's go home. Like, let's do this before the week starts because it's Sunday right now. Um, so I've been watching this show. It's called Dubai Bling. It's on Netflix and it's cool, I guess. I mean, it's pretty much like a little reality TV drama show, like, but just in Dubai. You know what? It, it actually reminds me of um, Bling Empire, and I kind of feel like this may be made by like the same people. But yeah, that's pretty much what your girl is doing, y'all. I have these scars from these breakouts that I have, but I ordered some stuff um, from Sephora. I gotta go pick it up. It's ready. I ordered it for like pickup from one of the Sephora's near me that had like everything that I wanted um, for the B.I.B. sale. So I'm gonna go pick that up tomorrow, but it's supposed to be really good with scars. So I'm hoping that it's, you know, it works. I, I can't remember the name of it. What is it called? I don't know, but I know it's pink. <laughs> like the bottle is pink. I really cannot remember the name of it. I'll show y'all in the next vlog. Cause I'm a, you know, vlog me like picking it up and showing y'all everything, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how it works because I don't know why, but this this recent breakouts, like they left some pretty dark scars. Also, I came in here real quick just to remind y'all, don't forget to shop Scentbird. I'll leave everything down below so y'all can check them out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Spend the weekend with me in my chaotic day yesterday and my very chill day today. I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next one. Peace.